Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So for today's video I thought we would put my sims loyalty to the test. So when you play as a couple, or a thruple, or any sim, you can pretty much get with whoever you like, provided your sim meets the other sim's sexual preferences. There's nothing standing in your way, even if you're in a relationship or married. However, there are apparently two things in the game, two things that I'm aware of anyway, if you know of any more let me know in the comments, but there are two things you can do to essentially force your sims to be loyal. One of them is by giving your sim the loyal trait, and the other one is by gifting a bouquet of flowers that has the scent of tulips which apparently encourage faithfulness. Now I've never really put the loyal trait to the test before, I've never tried to get a sim to cheat even when they have that trait. So today we're going to be testing both those things. I've got a couple here, this is Phoebe, she is the one that has a loyal trait. Her husband Preston doesn't have any traits that have anything to do with being faithful. But Phoebe also has the flower arranging skill. So we're going to see if we're able to get these sims to cheat on each other. It's currently 9pm on a Friday night, so I'm thinking, Phoebe, let's go out, just you and me, we'll see if we can meet someone, have a little bit of a flirt, have a little bit of a cheat, maybe, and then we're gonna give a loyalty bouquet, the faithful tulip bouquet to our husband, and see if that keeps him loyal. Oh, and it's love day as well, perfect opportunity. Okay, Brant Hecking. Ask about woohoo interests. I don't want to go barking up the wrong tree. Oh, okay, so Brant might be interested in me. I do want to get some flowers because I can't be asked to do the gardening, so I might just try and stay in Henford on Bagley all night until the garden shop opens at 9 a.m. Why are you standing directly in front of me when I'm trying to talk to Brant? That is so rude. What's her name? Lanuola? So fucking rude. You could tell by the way she's dressed and her hair and makeup and everything, you could tell she's just the loud type, forcing herself onto other people. Right, let's just go take some pictures of Brant. Phoebe, come on, spring into action, let's go. We've got to get that friendship down. Will you do it? Hey, hey, you have a task. Go and do the task. This fucking game. Oh, Brant's fucked off and now he's sleeping. Oh, for Christ's sake. Fine, Amelia Ernest. I'm gonna give them a good friendship. I tried to do it naturally, and this game just took the right piss out of me with Brant. So we're friends with Amelia. We'll build the we'll build the romantic relationship ourselves though, and see how far we get with this loyal trait. I mean it looks like all of the flirty options are still open to me. I don't know whether the Sims 4 just kind of thinks, well, no harm, no foul. Maybe it'll let me do all the flirty stuff, but it just won't let me get physical. I don't know. We'll see. Or could we maybe give some flowers? We might be able to, um, might be able to tick off Love Day, actually, if we could do that. I do have the option to do some physical intimacy. We can embrace. Hey, mate, three's a crowd. Fuck off. Although we still don't have a romantic relationship yet. Jeez, what is it with other sims and trying to get involved? Nothing to see here, boys. Well, now they have a romantic relationship, their romantic interests. This loyalty trait is doing fuck all. I think it's one of those where if you assign it to a passive sim, like a sim that you're not actively playing as, they are less likely to respond to your advances. That's what I think probably happens when you give sims the loyal trait. But in terms of like playing with an active sim that has this trait, does fuck all. Reluctant first kiss. I don't know why it's reluctant. Oh, she does have a, a tense mood though. What have I done from loyal sim cheating on partner? What has Phoebe done? Wait, I wanna read that mood buff. Trust is easy to break, but hard to fix. Only confessing will help alleviate this guilt. For two days, she's gonna be sad about this. For two days. Ah. Oh. Come on then, Phoebe, let's go home. Oh, wait, no, no, we need to stay here until the... Just uh, go, take a nap. I forgot, we need to get flowers. Okay, well, what have we learned? Loyal trait doesn't actually stop you from cheating. It might have an impact on sims that you're not controlling, not responding to your advances. She does feel really guilty. I mean, to be honest, does make sense. 
She's going to be tense for the next two days, so I like that. I like that that's two days. That's a heavy reaction. That's like how Sims react to, like, a death or a divorce. I wonder if we can go home and confess what we've done. But yeah, I mean, aside from the one mood buff, not really... Not really anything, is it? She went along with it pretty easily. I suppose there, there was the social interaction of reluctant first kiss, which usually would just be first kiss, so I guess there is that, but... Oh, she feels guilty. Oh, Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. We don't have to tell him. He might cheat on you for all you know. But I guess we've answered the first part of the question. Does the loyal trait, does the loyal trait make your Sims faithful? No, it does not. Absolutely not. It just makes them guilty. Okay, I'm just gonna buy a range of flowers. I definitely need tulips though, because I need the essence of tulips for faithfulness. If I can't find it here, I'll just get it in debug. But I'm gonna get a load of different flowers so I can make a nice bouquet. But really, tulips are my priority. A priority. I'm just gonna buy this shop out, just get everything they've got. Where are the fucking tulips, Agatha? <gasps> Two tulips. Oh, yes. Right, okay, I think that's enough. Okay, I'm home. I have noticed I can already confess to cheating, but I'm gonna hold off on that because I don't want him to get all pissy and resentful, at least until after I give him his flower arrangement. So to start off with, let's just make a random, let's just do uh, a simple rose and daisy arrangement. I haven't done this before, I very rarely play with flower arrangements in The Sims 4, so what I think I do is craft the arrangement and then I think I can add the scent. And it should mean that my spouse will be faithful, unlike us. Hey Phoebe, we still get to have our fun. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful, those roses. In all seriousness though, if you could hurry up. You are taking your sweet time there, Phoebe. We've got a husband over there that could cheat at any second. Oh, beautiful. What a beautiful flower arrangement. Okay, scent with... We will scent with tulip. Excellent quality and it's a masterpiece. Oh, look at it. Scent faithful tulip. Okay, right. Stick it in your inventory. We do have another tulip as well, so we can just keep this faithfulness going if it's a temporary thing. Okay, affection. Give romantic gift. The bouquet of flowers. Give him the bouquet, don't be shy. Come on, Phoebe. We feel really bad for cheating, so we're, we're gonna do something to make sure that you can't cheat. Just to make sure you can't get back at us. Preston really appreciated receiving such kind attention from Phoebe just now. That affection made him feel extra special. Oh, of course we like affection. He's got the, um, the gift ones, but he doesn't have any kind of mood buff that would imply that he's going to be loyal to her. Well, I think we should probably put that to the test. Come on, Preston. Let's go out, me and you. I'm wondering whether there was like a certain way I was supposed to give it. Maybe I wasn't supposed to give it as a gift. I don't know. I thought he would have some kind of mood buff or something. Okay, here's a sim. She's a conspiracy theorist. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. We're going to go for... Just, we'll start with a friendship, true friends. There we go. And then we'll see if we can take a romantic turn. Oh, sexy pose. He can still do all of the other stuff he could do before. You know what? He's introduced himself to Sienna now. I'm actually going to try something. I'm going to send him home. Maybe it's because it was a romantic gift rather than just a gift gift. I'm going to try having her give it to him as just a normal gift now. All right, I've put it back in her inventory. Let me just see if it makes a difference if I just give him a gift normally. Give flower arrangement gift, okay. Okay, so I think that was the problem. I just gave it as a generic romantic gift and I was supposed to give it as a flower arrangement gift. Okay, so now it should have some effects on him. Yeah, she's got a mood by Faithful from gifting a tulip-scented arrangement. Okay, let's go back out, because I don't want I don't want our girlfriend to, well, our wife to see us, you know, trying to flirt and be all on the pool. So let's just go out, see if it works. Okay, there's my conspiracy theorist. Ah, oh, they're all greyed out. Preston can't do this because he's been gifted a faithful-scented flower arrangement. <gasps> So he actually cannot cheat. He doesn't have a mood buff though, so I have no idea how long that lasts. I don't think it's like an indefinite thing. All right, well that was, we may as well go home then. 
We've proven what we wanted to prove. We cannot be romantic or sexy with anyone else. All right, well, can you cheat with the loyal trait? Yes. Can you cheat with the tulip scented bouquet? No, you can't. I think it does wear off though. I don't know how long it lasts for, but I think if Phoebe just makes sure that she always has tulips in her inventory, she'll be laughing. She'll have a forever faithful spouse. And then she can go off and cheat as many times as she likes. I do think she should confess though. Let's um, confess cheating. Oh, she's got a sad mood by feeling guilty. Oh, I know you're feeling oh, guilty. I'm just sorry. tell him the truth. It'll feel like a weight's been lifted off you your shoulders. Please. Oh, he's angry. He's pissed off. We didn't woohoo with anyone. No, he's not jealous. We didn't woohoo. It was just a kiss. Barely a kiss even. Betrayed by cheating. Oh, look, his jamtastic gift is gone. The positive sentiments are gone. They're just replaced by betrayed by cheating. Broken trust from confessing to cheating. Keeping secrets is hard, but seeing the pain in your loved one's eyes is even harder. If only Phoebe could regain the trust she lost. Three days, sad mood buff. Oh, fuck's sake, we should have just kept our mouths shut, Phoebe. You would have been tense for two days from doing the act, but being honest about it, even worse repercussions. Oh, heartbreaking revelation from partner confessed to cheating. How could they do this to Preston? Sometimes he thinks that never knowing would be better than the pay. Oh, see? Even he says we shouldn't have told him. Right, lesson learned. First betrayal. Preston has been cheated on for the very first time. Hopefully the very last. No matter what happens next, he knows that this experience will never be forgotten. That trust will never be as complete or as naively given as it was before. Oh, press turn. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. Oh. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.